Hello everyone, this is Pop Party, and today we are back in our Let's Play world. So yesterday, we completed the mine system, well, mine, I guess you would call it the mine cart system, or the uh, rail system for our world. So it only goes one way right now, and the reason is I'm the only one in the world, so I figured we don't need to have a there and back way, you know, just, just one direction should be fine. Um, but I also wanted to improve this main area a little bit, because right now it looks kind of weird, obviously. It's just like two cobblestone things popping out of the ground. And so we, let's, let's go ahead and enhance this a little bit before we move on from this project. My shovel is going to give out any minute now. It's I, I can't believe it. Oh, there we go. Only two blocks in. I was expecting a little bit more, but okay, okay that, that's fine though. And also, I guess we should have some blocks here just kind of placed so we can grow some grass on them so we can actually make it like a path. I love this path. I think it looks so nice. For some reason, the path just looks so dang polished. Whoa, what was that? Whoa, look at this lighting glitch, guys. <laughs> I like walk under the door, goes black. That's kind of freaky. Okay, I came in here to craft up a new shovel. So it'll be iron, of course. We don't want to use something uh, too weak. So iron shovel, let's grab it. Okay. Ah, we're gonna go out there and dig up a couple blocks below the actual carts, uh, the mine, the mine rail thingies. I don't even know, just a rail? Is that what you call them? Yes, just rails. So we'll dig out these blocks and replace them with something a little bit better. Of course, cobblestone is not the cleanest looking resource in the world. It's definitely far better than having everything on dirt. Not to mention it gives you more of a, a feeling of support and stability, right? It, it feels a little bit better to have uh, on top of actual stone. Now, obviously we can't place the entire track with with stone right now because that would just be that would be a much a very big hassle of course and probably not worth it at the moment anyway. It definitely will be eventually, but whether it is right now or not, I would say probably not. Now, with these, we want to have these quite a few of them at the start. And the reason is you want to be able to basically just come over here Throw the cart on wherever and have it boost, you know, because yesterday we basically had to make sure we jumped on that one block and then if we barely were off, it was so dumb. It's like you push the button then you have to go back over the power and go back the other way. It's just crazy. So we're going to make sure that this whole thing is basically just a, a powered strip, right? Right here. And there was one part. We got to ride it again to make sure we could find out where it was. But there was one place on this track that I thought, man, we really should put another one of these booster rails because it, it just didn't feel right. You know, something about it, I think it was slowing down. I can't remember 100% sure what it was that was that was bugging me about. I wish you could have more slots on, on Minecraft Pocket Edition. Down here, you know, this hotbar. I've got an NVIDIA shield here. I mean, that's what I'm using right now to play. And it, it feels like it's got so much space, but for some reason, they can't add more blocks. I, I don't know if it's going to come in a future update. They're going to add more hotbar slots or something because I really need that. It's really dumb to have it this way. I, I don't need to be able to have as much space at the bottom of the screen. Okay, now I'm going to break these. I'm going to add a couple more. The thing is, you don't really want freaks and stuff coming in here either because they, they can obviously, um, you know, break things. We saw the creepers yesterday, what they did in like five seconds of time. Yes, they tried to destroy you. So we should definitely keep ourselves a bit more a bit more secure here. I'm going to chip out these just to make it look look a bit cooler. You know, plus you don't need to use those those blocks anyway. It's kind of a waste. But it looks dumb if everything's blocky, you know. You're going to give it some, give it some texture, I guess. All right, so right here is where the door will be. And so from here, we will build a small amount of an area with the with this right here. Okay. Now this will be the doorway, obviously. And we don't actually have to have doors on it right now. Obviously, there would be eventually, but right now it's not really necessary in my eyes, at least. So this should counter pretty much any creatures. But I want to have light in here as well, coming from the outside. So what we'll do is we just build it like this. You leave you leave one block thick, right? Because nothing can come through that. Nothing can fit. So, I mean, unless it was like a chicken or something, but that's so unlikely. I don't think they can really fly into that spot. That would be that would be such a weird thing. Like it would it would be very, 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 very rare to have something dumb like that happen. So I think we're good with that. And now what we do is we're gonna go ahead and throw these blocks now this might look a bit strange on this side because we've got the we've got the frame extended because of the doorway so i'm going to jump back here kind of do the same thing on these on these sides and then right here so this is this is the doorway we don't want it to feel too awkward and weird so i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and fill in these spots right there 
And now this should be good. This should not allow anything to come inside. I wouldn't think anyway, but obviously it looks messed up because we haven't we haven't completely polished up the whole thing, obviously. We just barely sorted, so it's not really expected that we would. But it does look strange to have this spot closed and this one open, so we will definitely redesign this hideous monster eventually. In fact, I can't stand parts of it right now, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what we're supposed to do. I don't want to build, you know, spend all day building a small station for the rails but you know I mean at the same time we're probably gonna use it you know a reasonable amount so we definitely want it to look nice but okay we'll put these on these corners make it look a bit better okay and then what else should we do what else should we do do we have any stair piece we have half slabs Ooh, half slabs are cool you know, with half slabs you can do a lot of things especially design wise I mean not that I would know right but you know you can you can place them in different places and and make them Make them look a bit nicer, I guess. But anyway, we are now in here, and we should be able to throw a torch up right here. Okay, makes this station's always lit. I feel quite uncomfortable with it so open right now, honestly, just because, you know, a thing really could walk in there, a creeper or something of the sort could just kind of barge away in here. But that's okay for now, as we've kind of discussed. We really should have lights on the way throughout the whole rail system as well. So that's what we'll be doing today. No, 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 don't do this. Don't leave me. Okay, there's not enough weight. Oh, man, I barely made it. Almost made it to that next block. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to grab ourselves some cobblestone. And we have our torches equipped as well. And as we go on the rail system, we will place these things. And let me just place the, the rail car. Okay, now we can ride and barely push forward. Now what you do, oh, shoot, we can't really do that, can we? <laughs> Because like, it kind of punches the cart, so we can't really see at night, and I can't really place them. As you can see, it's just punching the cart, so we're going to have to actually get out of the cart. We're going to have to walk all the way across the tracks in order to place these things. Now, we have a spider out here. This is why we need This is why we need official stations. Freaky stuff like this. Oh, yes. We don't want to deal with you, do we? Okay, break this, break this. Where's my cart? Did I pick it up? What? No. Where's the mine cart? Did I lose it? Did it break? Is using a sword on a minecart a bad thing, guys? Is that is that like destructive? Does that break the bloody minecart? Oh my gosh, I might have destroyed it. What? I think I destroyed the minecart, guys. That doesn't make any sense. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess it's gone, but that was really dumb. I didn't know you couldn't use a sword. I mean, I guess that sort of makes sense. Like, don't, you know, chop up a minecart with a sword, but... But then I can I can smash it with a pickaxe and it comes off just fine. I can punch it with a fist. Okay, that's just stupid. All right, well we're gonna have to craft another one because it's gone. Or maybe it maybe it was just the timing was bad. Oh, maybe I can't pick it up. Maybe I maybe it was there. Oh my gosh, guys, was it there and I just wasn't seeing it? Okay, I'm gonna drop these sticks. Nope. Drop, 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 drop. Drop the sticks, mate. Okay, good. Now we're gonna walk over there and see if it picks up because maybe maybe I just couldn't hold it. I thought I had an empty slot. That's why I was like, what the heck. No, it's not here, guys. It's gone. Okay, well, that's rather stupid, as we discussed. Okay, <laughs> we got to go back and get the other one we just crafted. I didn't craft that for nothing. Okay, grab the cart, and we're getting out of here, because this place is madness. Not that we don't want to be here and come back, you know, but right now, we have a better thing to do back at home, probably. Okay, look at that. Look how far away that mountain is. We're just like, boom, we're there, you know, that kind of thing. Oh, okay, go, go, go. Boosting across here. And I need to go. I'm gonna have to manually walk over here probably in the daytime I would say probably not the best thing to do at night, but walk around and place torches across the Across the track so we don't have to you know see the dark the whole time we're going. That's just dumb. That's really lame No, no, okay. That's the other thing right here. We need to have no No track probably let's test. Let's see what happens So if I take this until oh gosh what the until they add buttons and redstone and stuff We've got to have a relatively simple simple system eventually we'll have it where you just walk over here push a button and it will send you off on your way but this right yes go okay it stops now that's what we want we want it to stop just like it did okay perfect well it's working rather well i'd say i mean this you know again isn't the most beautiful thing you've ever seen <laughs> probably close to what you would imagine a caveman is capable of but that's okay because Caveman is better than no man, right? I mean, at least I'm alive. Okay, let's go to sleep. We should have, we should have just slept. I don't even know why we're doing stuff in the, in the night time. We're just, we're just walking around. You know, it's great. Night is when I get mutilated by these little freaking creatures. But that's okay because tonight we survived. It's a very obviously a very rare event where I actually survive the night when we're out and about. But this guy, he's freaking me out. Why is he standing here? Huh? Okay, now he disappears. That freaks me out even more. Usually that means they're hungry. Okay. 
I look at your face? Because I don't think I did. <gasps> oh, that's just a spider. Okay. Well, where did the Enderman go? What? No, you can't do this, mate. Oh, gosh. Now he's glitching. I don't think he's even... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I have my sword equipped. I'm just going to slay his little butt because he doesn't get to just sit around my house like this. He doesn't get to stay here. He has no rights. Zero. Oh, gosh, guys. What have I done? Did I look at his dumb face? Because I swear I, I wasn't purposely looking there. I was looking at it, but, like, not really. I was looking at the screen like, oh, there's the Enderman, but I didn't point my, my crosshair, my in-game person. No, I didn't look at that dumb freak. Well, he appears to be gone, so maybe he's not angry. Maybe he just maybe he just left. I don't know. But was it the sunlight? Does, I don't think sunlight bothered the Enderman. Maybe it does. Maybe I've forgotten. <gasps> he's in my house. What the heck? Okay. This is, like, weird. He came inside my house. I don't believe I gave you permission for that, sir. Oh, gosh. I guess I didn't look at him, though, because he doesn't seem angry. Maybe it's because I've, I've offered him my house, right? He's got this hospitality thing in his head, but I didn't even offer this. He's just... <gasps> no, 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 no. I was just talking. I wasn't even looking at you. I wasn't even freaking doing it. Oh, my gosh, guys. I was literally looking at nothing. I was just talking for a second there. Oh, my gosh. All of a sudden, that little freak, he, like... Oh, wow. That was really freaky, guys. That's for sure. That was a goosebumper type thing. Okay, well, I think I think on that note, we are going to wrap this up for the day. So, okay, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Aside from that freak who almost just killed me. And I, I will see you guys tomorrow with more Minecraft.